Fans of a Horus Heresy, it is 8.50 a.m. It's the 2nd of January and this is a Warhammer World Open Day 2017. The queue's getting uh, nicely stoked up, so I'm going to go stand there and get frozen for a bit. Um, but yeah, let's see, what's, uh, let's see what today brings. Ah, well that's better. Um, I did the whole freezing thing, queued up for a while, and I've been to the Open Day. I'm back home now. So uh, let me uh, give you a quick overview of what I saw uh, on the day. So um, I've got a few photos here that I took mainly in the studio area to uh, to show you. Um, wasn't much at the at the day today. Well, um, from a forgeable point of view, uh, there are two releases for the Adeptus Custodes, the uh, Palace Gravitac uh, vehicle, uh, and the. Contempt to Galatus Dreadnought as well, which to you and me is contempt with a sword and shield. Anyway, there's some, uh, I'll get onto those, some of those photos later, but let's just have a quick flick through what I did take. So, it was a uh, so in the studio area, so the studio area is where the design that you get the GW designers and the artists, and they got some dioramas, old models, all sorts. Um, let's have a look what that has. So, this there was a, uh, a novel. Uh, uh, mm, clockwork powered or gargant perhaps it was a nice model I asked the guy how does it move and he said I've got no idea I've never thought about that it looks great even if it's uh, pushed by orcs so yeah a bit of fancy there um, there was some I think some wood uh, tree men type creature things the latest there um, a few imperial fists uh, this is one of the uh, Studio Painters, uh, a showcase of some of his models. Um, that's a, a rather out of focus close up on uh, the general figure from the um, Tree People Army. Um, here we had a case of some uh, uh, various, uh, I think there was a sort of prototype models, a variety of Tau, Imperial, and Eldar. Maybe his turn is sneaking in somewhere. I don't even, I don't. I think those are early versions of the Ghost Kill uh, suit. If anyone knows, please tell me. Uh, a, a comedy, um, bit of a comedy Castellan robot from the Cult Mechanicus list there. Nice little smiley face. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. And then these, this is a showcase of the models of one of his design. Now there was, uh, there was a nice uh, Tech Priest guy. These apparently are some of his personal models. I like these guys, I asked him about these. Um, I've never seen anything like them before. He said he did them as part of his job application to join GW, so they are one-offs. Which is a shame really, because they look rather neat little robots. And there's the second one. And uh, there's the new Witch Hunter. Uh, Saint uh, Celestine, if I remember rightly. These are the plastic models that, are just, that haven't been released yet. Uh, and this is the uh, Archmagos Dominus. Well, as well, which is a suitably crazy mechanicum, so uh, uh, yeah, that's going to be useful for Horus Heresy builds. And a quicker uh, close upon the uh, on the saint and her um, accompanying troops, and uh, a nice little bunch of doves there. How peaceful! Uh, and yeah, well, this is the work of uh, Maxime uh, Pastorel. Uh, interesting chap, I chatted with him a bit. And then moving on towards, uh, well, here we have the selection of walls. Uh, these are, I think these are, what are they called? These are three ups or two ups of the uh, Fenrisian wall for plastic set. Uh, please not through dragon. There you go, nice big dragon miniature. By Trish Carden. And I'm assuming she uh, add the annotation there to say, mature inverted commas forge walled designer. And then there was also Alan Morrison, a veteran miniatures designer. Obviously, he doesn't, he's not a Citadel miniatures designer. I think they're having a little bit of fun here. Uh, some relics from the early years of 40K. So the uh, original Rhino box set. So three Rhinos from £9.99 back in 1987. Uh, and the Terminator box set, uh, RTB08, I think. And then the RTB... Zero two Space Orc Raiders metal miniature set there. Uh, just another photo of the Rhino box set. Um, 
Al so Alan Morrison and it was uh, Tony Cottrell were there and uh, yes I, some, they had a copy of one of the rarest 40k books ever which was a chapter approved book of the Astronomicon, very difficult to find, it's very difficult to find at the time, never mind these days. Um, this is uh, out of Alan Morrison's sketchbook. Um, I was quite interested to see this because I've seen this section of this picture a number of times but I've not seen it printed in its full form so it's kind of like a Marines fighting to hold orcs out of a breach. Some more relics of the early days, so uh, Whirlwind, Imperial Guard plastic boxer, you know, the RTB01 plastic boxer and a few metal models or battle wagon. Uh, and here we have the early um, variant Imperial vehicle, vehicle. so we've got the uh, scratch build Bane Blade. I remember building part of one of those out of plastic card. Um, the Vindicator, based on a Rhino, I built that. It's a long gone model. Uh, converted Rhino, the, um, I just forget what this was called now, Sabre Tank Destroyer, I believe. It had a rather puny auto cannon. Um, it got gunned later and then a, a variant Predator. And of course, uh, all you people, all you fans of a Spartan assault tank out there, well, this is what it originally looked like. It was sort of an upside down Land Raider conversion. Uh, a variety of early Rogue Trader models there, plastic and metal, including the then ALDAR Dreadnoughts and Marine Dreadnoughts. Space Marines, plastic Space Marines with a classic weird and wonderful future missile launcher. There's our early Spartan again. Uh, and the variant vehicles as well. Interesting to think how big the Bane Blade is compared to that original one. And some more Marines. Right, so moving over to the Forge World exhibit, uh, they had a variety of uh, recently released and still to be released models, one of which is quite interesting. So we have the Contempt to Dreadnought, the um, Galatus Dreadnought with the Sword and Shield, but much more interestingly, well for me anyway, uh, oh there's a close upon the Galatus. Very nice model. Unlike the tanks, these guys seem to have got a suitable amount of filigree uh, to them. Yeah, so if that's what you want, nice looking models. They were selling these on the day, £56 is uh, cost. Um, I like this guy though, I don't know what it's called, but uh, there's another Custodes Contemptor, uh, but he's got a halberd and in the head it looked like it had a last cannon, so there's a little uh, sting for you. Ah, here is the new Custodes vehicle, I believe this is the Coronas um, Grav Transporter, uh, or you know, as I've liked to call it, the Grav Slipper, looks like you could just slide it on your foot. Uh, this is a really big vehicle actually. Um, there's the uh, Caladius Grav Tank, uh, and there's a Palace Grav Attack. Uh, there's a painted uh, Galatus uh, from another angle. You can see the uh, the Grav vehicles here, and the um, Coronas Grav Transporter is much larger than the Palace or the um, Caladius. Uh, it's a really big vehicle, actually. Uh, Frecky and Gary, I don't know which is which, perhaps uh, if there's any Space Wolf fans out there you can tell me uh, which is which, uh, severing a few thousand suns. Those guys are on sale, uh, yours for £70 for the pair, so Russ plus his wolves will only set you back £140. I hope, space, I hope they work well in the game, but nice models. There's some resin versions of those with a, uh, I think it's one of the Barracudas for the town in the background. Um, Radio Dreadnought with the uh, Arachnus Pattern Last Cannon Battery, an Aeolus Missile Battery. And here's a view of the uh, Coronas uh, Grav Transport from Maria, an unpainted one. And here you can see the interior detail uh, uh, and on this tank. It looks like it has a fully detailed interior, so that's going to be a, uh, an interesting model. Nice uh, Imperial Thunder symbol on the back there. Uh, and there is the Coronas from the front. Uh, we don't know what these weapons are in the turret yet. It's got the same special bolt gun up front, but I don't know what this turret is yet. Um, some, there's a guy from Forgeworld who does some of the artwork. Um, these are this is art from the upcoming Titanicus game, which is a return of uh, Adeptus Titanicus Struck Space Marine, aka Epic. 
and there's a there's a pair of warlord titans dueling it out and there's another shot of the um coronas grav transporter showing uh, the view into the rear of the hull and there was a painted one and there you get a good view feel for the size uh versus the clidia so yeah it's a much bigger wider stockier vehicle i wonder what it's uh be interesting to see what its transport capabilities and uh whether or not it will be an assault vehicle, I guess, is a, a question that's going to be on everyone's uh, mind about this particular one. With a rear hull exit, it doesn't look like it is, unless it's some sort of grav ramp or something. And there's another one, one of the pictures. And then there are also a few... Uh, the Forge World Artists also had a few excerpts from Inferno, uh, which is due for a leak shortly. So we've got some Thousand Suns uh, pictures. Um, there's a Tartarus Terminator uh, and a Sokar Stormbird <coughs> and then there's also a few pictures here from the upcoming Imperial Army the fires of uh, Cyraxus which seems to basically be the introduction of the me of heresy era for Mechanicum robots into 40k uh, oh yeah the artist he was called Luke Blick there we go. Uh, yes and, and here's more um, more of the upcoming Imperial Armour book. So here we've got a Triaros Armour Transport alongside some Skitari Rangers. Uh, and here we have some Mechanicum um, Battle Automata of, uh, of various kinds uh, advancing forward. So that's going to be interesting to see how the Battle Automata are portrayed in the Warhammer 40,000 game, whether or not there'll be a straight rules port over or if uh, something new is going to happen. And in the gallery, well, you know, Iron Hand's glaive, had to take a photo of it. Um, and finally, just to finish on a slightly humorous note, uh, the, there's a, in the gallery, there's a load of um, marine chapters painted up, and uh, I found this guy and it made me giggle. There we go, Rainbow Warriors, Ultramarine Successor Chapter, bless him. So there you go, there's a quick overview of what I saw at the uh, open day. Um, got a bit of loot. Uh, I'm shooting in a different location today due to my internet being dead. Um, so it's probably going to be a bit delayed to do these. But uh, what did I get today? I bought a Domitar. So it's uh, <coughs> something I've... Uh, it's one robot I've not bought for my Mechanicum yet. So I've got one of those now. Uh, just for giggles. Um, I bought a Fuzzy Mess. No, I bought a... Let's go come a bit closer. This is the Jacaro model. So if you ever wondered what happened when you have uh, techno ape-like creatures that can uh, have wrist-mounted last cannons in digital lasers, well, this is the answer. Uh, just for collector's value, I picked up <coughs> Countess Viridian or Canoness Viridian. And finally, and this was a surprise of the day for me anyway, um, we have a reprint of Warhammer 40,000 Rogue Trader. So yeah, a complete, you know, the, the original book reprinted. It wasn't too, this was priced at £35. Pounds, um, which actually uh, was, seemed fairly reasonable. So uh, I bought a copy because I wanted, um, uh, I wanted a copy anyway for doing Retro Hammer, so that was perfect. And uh, particularly with the Jacaro, I've got a fun little episode in mind uh, to talk about the then Jacaro and the now Jacaro and how he can make a uh, volcano cannon out of a pile of lasguns. Anyway, um, I hope you found that as a little nice little uh, overview of some of the things that caught my eye at the uh, Warhammer New Year's Open Day 2017. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you very much for listening. I'll speak to you later and goodbye.